It's official. Bing has jumped into the AI arena. And let's see what they have to offer. But before we do that, let's take a look at the website. So let's get a quick glimpse of how it looks. Okay, so right here is the website. You have a designer tab. We'll talk about that in a moment. Up top right here toward on the left hand side, this is your account information. And you have the little, they call it a hamburger in the design space. This hamburger tab, click that and those are your settings there. And this area right here is where you place your prompts. This little uh, lightning bolt that says 15, that's the number of boosts you have. Here's your create button, surprise me. It's just what it does is it makes a prompt for you, okay? And you scroll down here and take a look, explore ideas. You got all kind of different cool stuff. Creations is an area that you click on, and that is what you've been creating last. So basically, it acts as a collections, and we'll talk about that in a moment. Let's go back to explore ideas. So the good thing about this is this. So if we click, if we're feeling like fluffy pancakes, we can click on this right here and pull up um, this photo. And here is the prompt that made this photo here. So what you could do is you could take copy and paste this and then add any type of verbiage that you wanted to to that. You also have the option to download, save, share and customize. OK, now what we'll do. Is let's create some stuff. Oh, and by the way, here's your freaking really ask questions It's down here towards the bottom. They will answer all your questions. Now, let's get started. OK. So what we'll do is let's go ahead and start a prompt here. I want to right click, pull up emoji and let's find a prompt here. So let's start with maybe tiny robots, tiny robots, lo-fi, IMAX sharp focus, etc. And it's nature core. Pull that and let's create, hit create. Nice. Nice. Let's click on the photo and enlarge that. Oh, look at this. Sweet. They're both pouring orange juice. That's nice. Let's toggle through here. And the depth of field in that bokeh in the back. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Tiny robots that'll work. So I am going to save probably every last one of these let's start from this one here let's download this download this one download this one and last but not least that one there now the good thing about this part right here is let's uh, we click off these now we can actually save these and make a collection out of them let me show you how to do that so what we'll do go up to the top right hand corner here and I have two collections already. So let's just save to the layers tutorials. Save that one there. That one as well. This one too. That one as well. Now, let me show you how to get to your collections really easy. While this box is pulled up, just head on up here to this open collection portal. Click on that and it takes you to your collections. Everything that you've made thus far. Because if you go back in here, over here in your recent tab, over time, it'll just overlap. So it's good to have your collections available if you ever need them in the future. And basically, the only thing you have to do, like I had mentioned before, is just push into it and then copy and paste and you're ready to go. All right, now, one thing I want to note here is when you do your prompts, you need a noun, a verb, and an adjective. And that normally makes it better, right? So let's get an example here. Let's go to emoji, click on this clipboard history, and let's try be a tall woman sitting at a desk. So on this prompt right here, woman would be the noun, of course. Sitting would be 
the verb and tall would be the adjective. So what I do is I place them before the styles. Miniature would be a style 8K and game would be a style. So just pay attention when you do your pops because the results you yield tend to be a little better once the machine kind of understands what you're doing. OK. All right. So let's go ahead and create this. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> so nice. The detail. The detail is nice. Nice. Yes, those are nice right there. OK, so let's try a different prompt here. Let's do. Let's do a steampunk astronaut or a steampunk astronaut on a Lambo. OK, Lamborghini. OK, hit create. Hold up. OK. Nice. Nice. Let's try this again because I want the astronaut astronaut to be facing the viewer. So let's try that again. <laughs> I like that one. That's remarkable. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Let's try another prompt here. Let's try ape on a surfboard with high waves and we'll do this in the style of pix pixel art. Hit create. There we go. Yeah, this one's work right here. Only thing you have to do is cut out the background. A shirt material right there. You can put it on mugs, T-shirts, hats, whatever you want. I'm saving this one. I like this one. Okay. Good stuff. Okay, let's do everyone's favorite animal, which is a cat. Let's put, let's see if cat on a surfboard will see what type of results that yields hit create okay I see where <laughs> that's too funny when I changed the cat on the surfboard I continued with a ape's mouth is open and ape is facing viewer so it kind of blended a little bit hey but nonetheless that's still cute <laughs> All right. So let's try another prompt here. Let's do a woman made of smoke here. Hit create. Booyah. Nice. Nailed it. Nice. All right. Let's um, let's gener generate this again. I have an idea for another one after this one generates. Okay. That one's good too. Not bad, not bad. So how about we put steampunk made of smoke and see what that does. Hit create. All right, add some color to the photo. Okay. Nice. That's nice. That'll do it. Yeah, let's do that again. That's awesome. You look down here, guys. If you notice this, 
is powered by Dolly. That's the cheat code. That's why the images look so good all the time. You know what? Let's just go ahead and just uh, roll the dice and create it again. Okay. Looks like she's kind of marching a little bit. All right, let's do one more prompt here. Let's try Steamboat Willie standing on the skateboard with yellow skateboard wheels. And we'll do this one in the style of pencil art. Okay, let's hit create. Not bad, not bad. That was, uh, this one's nice. You take out the background, just leave Steamboat Willie and the skateboard. That one worked. That one's nice as well. But I think this is my favorite one out of here. I like this one, so I'm saving this one. So I have to say, I like this. This is this is a good a good tool here. Picture the possibilities. AI has came a long way. And uh, it's good to see Bing has jumped into the conversation. So what we're going to do now is end this video. But before we do that, let me point out here that this customized section right here is where you can remove backgrounds or take out objects or things of that nature in a photo. So I have a video right here. Check that out and it'll show you exactly how to do that. And you don't need any other tools, just this particular tool or the customized tool. And you are ready to go. Like always, thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.